my channel. Today I'm filming the third bucket list, um, third page of my bucket list uh, in this series. So we're just gonna jump straight in. Again, filming on my back, my bed. Um, so sorry about it. I'm not gonna lie, I've actually filmed all of my bucket list videos all in this spot, all in one hit. So you know, whatever. Anyway, so my first category is Supernatural. Before I start on this, I am just going to say I do know that a lot of this stuff is not realistic um, or possible or plausible and I know a lot of people have a lot of different opinions on stuff like this. I obviously as it's included as a section in my bucket list, I do have a very specific opinion on it. So if you guys would like a video on my Supernatural um, and paranormal type opinions and experiences and stuff, leave me a comment below. So I have, have my past lives read, have my palm read, learn to read tarot cards, have my astrology chart made, sleep in a haunted house, participate in or witness a seance, buy a Ouija board, have my aura read, go on a UFO hunt, and bend a spoon with my mind. Now, I'm going to break these down for you. Have my past lives read and have my palm read. I've actually had my palm read once before. I haven't actually crossed it off here. I don't know why it's not crossed off, but I have I have had it done. I had um I, I'm really close in, but you know, I had my I don't know what lines what, but my life line, my love line, and my heart line, or whatever it is, however, whatever it works out to be. I've had those read and I've had um my like the lines that tells you how many kids you're going to have. I've had that read and, you know, things like that. Having my past lives read, that's the one thing that I want to do and every time I go to a psychic, they never do it. They never do it for me and I don't like it. That's the one thing I want to do. Um, it's, you know, yeah, I'm going to have to cross off, have my palm read. Learn to read tarot cards. <laughs> I haven't learnt fully yet how to do this however I do have my own set of tarot cards and I am uh, practicing and I am learning and I have I did actually have a lesson on this um, from a psychic once before so I have well not a lesson but sort of you know like a guidance session type thing on how to do it um, so yeah that like that's sort of a working progress one at this point it will get crossed off soon i'm hoping maybe in the next year or so when i feel confident enough that i've learned to do it well enough to do it for other people um have my astrology type made i'm not into astrology by any means but i am interested to see what sort of you know what what astrology can predict for you and how things can line up and stuff i'm a capricorn so i'd love to sort of you know know how that all sort of ties in sleep in a haunted house who hasn't wanted to do this at least once in their life like that's just awesome so i really want to do that participate in all witness to seance i want to do this in a graveyard and i know that sounds really sadistic and really you know insensitive and things like that to the deceased and stuff but seances in the in a graveyard for specific people are very interesting to me and I do really enjoy it but if I don't do it there and I do it somewhere else you know that's fine buy a Ouija board uh, I've always wanted a Ouija board let's be real <laughs> I've always wanted one um, it's on my bucket list for this year actually I have a um, 25 before 25 list which is things I've pulled from my bucket list um, and I put onto that list of stuff for me to do before I turn 25. If you'd like a video on that, also leave me a comment below. Have my aura read. Again, I'm not really into auras and stuff, but I would love to know what kind of aura I have because I get described very differently by many different people and there are also a lot of people who describe me one way, whereas I would describe myself the complete opposite, you know what I mean? So I really want to have my aura read and see May, and maybe a couple of times to compare and see what people get and see if that's, you know, a real thing and how it compares to how people describe me and how I describe myself. Go on a UFO hunt. I actually don't think that's what they're called, but I want to go to, like, a place where something UFO-related happens quite often and I want to go hunting 
for them, essentially. I just think that would be fun. Better spin with my mind. Okay, I know that this is probably going to open up a massive can of worms. I know that's not really a thing. Don't need to tell me that. I just find it interesting and I, I, you know, if it was ever to become a real thing, I would so want to do it. So it's just on there as a little bit of a fun thing that I know I'm never going to accomplish, but yeah, it's, it's just fun. Next up is art and I just have three here and these are works of art that I want to see in person, the, the, the original in person. I want to see Mona Lisa. Uh, by Leonardo da Vinci, which I think most people would have on their list. Guernica by Pablo Picasso. The reason this one is on my list um, is because in his... Actually, I'm going to come back to that. Uh, the Scream by Edward Bunk. Again, an obvious one like Mona Lisa. Now, Guernica, it is on my list because um, in year 7, I had an art teacher, Mr. Roberts, who really helped me channel my very specific form of art. I I have always been very artistic, but I was 12 years old. I hadn't really, I'd been encouraged by my parents for drawing and painting and things like that, but I never really had sort of that kind of outlet. And he really encouraged me to bring it all to the forefront. He um, was also my father's teacher and my mother's teacher when they were at school. So I held a very, I felt very, close to him on a different level and he just really inspired me and really sort of helped me bring out that kind of um, aspect of myself and I, I owe him up for a lot of my creativity to be perfectly honest. Again, he will never see this either. Um, he, he's never going to see this this video but I do, you know, he was a very special teacher to me and I, I, I treasure him. Um, yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> uh, so Carnivals and Major Events is the next one. And these are carnivals slash major events that I want to go to or want to see. So I've got Oktoberfest, Rio Carnival, Mardi Gras, Cirque du Soleil, the Olympic Games, Walking with Dinosaurs, River Dance, and Tap Dogs. Now, obviously, these are these are things that people do know, and there's a lot that I want to add to this list that I have not added to it. I will get to those in another video. But yeah, this is where I'm at right now. Oktoberfest. Obviously, why not alcohol? Uh, Rio Carnival. That's just that's just the original Mardi Gras, and it's just it's it's the original festival, and I'm so into it. Mardi Gras. By this, I mean New Orleans. However, I did put a line down the middle and cross off one side because I have been to the Sydney game list in Mardi Gras. I will get to that in another video as well. Cirque du Soleil. I have been to Cirque du Soleil. It is also crossed off. I've actually been to two. I've seen um, Ovo and Kidam and I actually want to see every single Cirque du Soleil show in the world. The Olympic Games. I've never been to the Olympic Games but in 2000 when the Olympics were in Sydney I did go to the closing ceremony of the Paralympic Games um, but I would love to go to the Olympic Games. I'd love to take the, the entire I think it's five weeks or so off from the Olymp for the Olympic Games and Paralympic Games and I'd love to go to, to different events and sort of get to experience that kind of culture in a different way. Walking with Dinosaurs, I've done this. I did it when I was about 10. Um, the experience was much different than to what it is now and it was amazing. River dance, unfortunately this is not a thing anymore and I have an auntie who I'm pretty sure went to River dance but I do want to go, I know there is a River dance tribute show I think it's in Ireland. I could be wrong. If someone knows, if anyone knows any different, let me know in the comments. Um, but there are like Riverdance tribute shows, so I want to go to a couple of them, and that will sort of suffice. Or if there's ever a Riverdance reunion, that would be really cool. And Tap Dogs. I've actually seen Tap Dogs a few years back. It was amazing. I never liked tap dancing. I love, I love it on other people. I just didn't like it for myself. It just wasn't a style that really clicked with me, or that I felt comfortable doing. So I sort of avoided it um but yeah it's it's one that I just sort of tap dogs was you know it, it came to Newcastle and I was like no I, I want to see it I'm there it's on my list I'm gonna do it the last section for this page let's see if I can get them all in yep is photography and this is just things that I want to take a photo of I used to be really into photography 
Um, again, going back to the art teacher. Art teachers at my high school, more specifically Mr. Roberts, but all of them for, for want of a better word. Um, all of them, you know, like all my art teachers. I really just, I want to... I, I was into art a lot and I want to I want to keep creating like keep that creativity so these are things that I want to take a photo of um, for myself lightning strike sunrise over a mountain sunset on a beach tree lined street or road bursting fireworks the edge of a waterfall a whale or dolphin jumping a rainbow raw laughter family's hands dewy grass under a pier love a lone tree in a field I don't know where I got love from Wave crashing, glacier, and a rain hitting car lights. These are just things that sort of, to me, represent beauty, love, happiness, serenity. You know, they're just they're just the natural wonders that really I not, not even all natural. I mean, like fireworks aren't natural, car lights aren't natural, but you know, it's. It's the the little things that sort of just make make things look more beautiful or put a smile on your face or really just capture a natural love. I really want to sort of get into that. I don't feel like they need individual explanations, so I'm not really going to do that. So in that case, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, give me a thumbs up, comment below, anything that's on your bucket list for any of these sections. I'd love to know and get some new ideas. Also, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any more of this series, and I'll catch you on my next one.